Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. A slim majority of Ben City Councilors tonight approved a five-year, million-dollar contract to buy a body camera system. Police Chief Mike Krantz says, while body-worn cameras cannot tell the whole story, they can provide vital information and evidence. Four councilors voted for the contract, but two abstained and one was absent. Councilor Anthony Broadman expressed misgivings about the cost, but supported it. He also said this could be a great tool for attorneys, but does not view it as a fix for police accountability nationwide. Khalid Riga Schenkelberg said she was super torn over the move. Also during the Ben City Council meeting tonight, councilors gave a thumbs up to continue the parklet program in downtown Bend. Now city staff will create a timeline for how long it could be extended. Alec Nolan has the details. Ben City Councilors opened their meeting with an informal approval of continuing parklets in downtown Bend. These parklets have converted curbside parking spaces into extended areas for dining and retail use. These parklets are a temporary allowance under the state of emergency declaration. And once the declaration is lifted, these parklets will be removed. But the city's parking services manager, Tobias Marks, believes they should stay. We really should continue this because it's a great opportunity to bring more economic um, growth back to downtown at a time where we, really, where we really need it. Mark says they provide another way for downtown businesses to continue serving residents safely while distancing requirements are in effect, while also helping re-spur much-needed economic recovery during and after the pandemic. The parklets are, are great, they're attractive, they're well received by the public. They can draw new crowds and different people into the downtown district. And when they do so, they also help us expose other businesses to these people that are coming, right? And the city's licensing program manager, Lorelai Williams, says the positives have outweighed the negatives so far, with parklets generating 30% of revenue. Um, we've had a very minimal amount of complaints from the public. Um, we, and we have heard some, some concern from adjacent and nearby business owners. So staff is suggesting a thorough application process with a permit center, city review, and inspections. We would like to start with just the downtown district. Williams said should the program prove to be successful, they would like to eventually expand to other districts and neighborhoods after an evaluation in spring of 2022. In Bend, Alec Nolan, News Channel 21.